children how are you all this is science essay one revision part 2 so today we will be solving the questions from all the lessons which are there for your exams that is lesson number 1 lesson number 3 lesson number 4 lesson number 5 and lesson number 6 so in all we have five lessons for your exams now we have already discussed that how you will prepare for your exam right children so what you will do you have to watch the revision videos very properly to see what kind of questions will be there for the exam you have to go through the lesson thoroughly you should see you should be able to identify all the pictures for which you have to go through the textbook see study all the tables and pictures that are given in the textbook now let us start the revision so the first question is fill in the blanks the first one animals dash by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs now for fill in the blanks choose the correct option identify the figure etc you will be having four options out of which one is one will be the correct answer so here i am going to put a tick on the correct answer and in the exam what you have to do very good you have to click on the correct option now see the options are respond reproduce breathe and move so what is the correct answer children the correct answer is b reproduce animals reproduce by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs i hope all of you are sitting with your pen and paper to solve the revision now let us see the next question so the next question is plants have dash in their leaves the options are chloroform photosynthesis chlorophyll carbon dioxide so what is the correct answer children right the correct answer is 3 chlorophyll plants have chlorophyll in the leaves the green substance present in the leaves of plant is called chlorophyll with the help of which they can make their own food for which they also require sunlight water and carbon dioxide let us see the next question the deficiency of iron causes the options are beriberi scurvy anemia night blindness so what is the correct answer children the correct answer is c anemia the deficiency of iron causes anemia deficiency of vitamin b causes beriberi deficiency of vitamin c causes scurvy and night blindness is caused by the deficiency of vitamin a let us see the next question now the next question is choose the correct option which among these is a deficiency disease the options are obesity asthma allergy and anemia so what is the answer answer is d anemia let us see the next question now which among these cannot be grown from stem cutting now children we know that stem cutting is a piece of stem having one or two buds on it from which a new plant can be grown now the options are hibiscus rose sugar cane and carrot so what is the answer children the answer is d carrot because carrot can be grown from its root 
rest other plants like hibiscus rose sugar cane can be grown from stem cutting so carrot cannot be grown from stem cutting now children while solving the exam you have to be very careful and patient because the number of questions will be more so you have to very patiently read the question understand the question and then click on the correct option let us see the next question now which among these is not a body covering of an animal now we know that different animals have different body coverings which protect the animals now the options are flippers shells scales and fur so what is the correct answer children which is not the body covering of an animal the answer is a flippers the flippers are used by the turtles to move rest all are the body covering of different animals for example the body of snail is covered by shell scales are there on the body of reptiles as well as fishes now fur which animal has fur on its body right the polar bear has fur on its body that is thick hair on the body of polar bear let us see the next question now the next question is true or false now for true and false children you will again have a statement and below the statement you will be having options as true or false now you have to read the statement carefully and then click on whether it is true or false so the first one here is the grasshopper breathes through its moist skin so is it true or false that is false because grasshopper is an insects so what do insects use to breathe yes they have tiny holes on their bodies called spiracles and which animals animal breathes with its moist skin correct frog breathes with its moist skin when it is in water and also earthworm breathes with its moist moist skin now the next is lack of exercise make your muscles weak and flabby so that is true lack of exercise makes the muscles weak and flabby let us see the next question children now diabetes and arthritis are communicable diseases so is it true or false that is false diabetes and arthritis are non communicable diseases now plants move in search of food so this is true or false this is false plants do not move only a part of plant can move now let us see the next question answer in one sentence now the question is what is deficiency disease now the options are first one the disease is that do not spread from one person to another second one the disease is that spread from a sick person to a healthy person next one the disease is caused due to lack of nutrients in the diet now last one the disease is that are caused by germs so here what is the correct answer children the answer is c disease is caused due to lack of nutrients in the diet let us see the next question now 
what are crops the options are the plants that are grown in the school are called crops next is the plant plants that are grown in the field are called crops next is the plants that are grown in the garden are called crops last one the plants that are grown in the pot are called crops so what is the correct answer children right the correct answer is b the plants that are grown in the field are called crops let us see the next question now what is stem cutting the options are a a seed that can grow into a new plant is called stem cutting b a root that can grow into a new plant is called stem cutting c a piece of stem that can grow into a new plant is called stem cutting d a piece of leaf that can grow into a new plant is called stem cutting so what is the correct option children the answer is c a piece of stem that can grow into a new plant is called stem cutting now while solving this answers the options may you may find similar but you have to read the options carefully and click on the correct option let us see the next question now the next question is answer the following by choosing the appropriate options again in this question you have to solve the questions very carefully go through the question read the question and then find out the answers now the first is how is soil useful for living things and the answer is plants use dash in the soil to grow and make food many dash live in the soil we use dash from the soil to build our homes now the answers are c plants use dash from the soil what do plants use from the soil children see the options products animals and nutrients so in the first blank the answer will come nutrients plants use nutrients in the soil to grow and make food now many the remaining two options are products and animals so many products live in the soil will be wrong so many animals live in the soil so the first is the sequence should be nutrients animals and we use the remaining one is last one is products so what should be the correct answer in the option where it uh, where in the sequence should be nutrients animals and then products so find out which one is correct nutrients animals and products so that is b okay in this way you have to solve the question in the exam let us see the next question explain the structure of the seed the thick outer covering a thick outer covering called the seed dash now outer covering of seed is called very good it is called a seed coat so the first option should be coat near the scar is a small dash that allows water to enter the seed now you know that what allows water to enter the seed still we will look the options see the options so the options are embryo hole cotyledons coat so the in the first blank the, uh, the what should come it will be coat so here what will come children hole so near the scar is a small hole that allows water to enter the seed now the seed has two seed leaves called cotyledons between the cotyledons is the baby plant called the embryo now we should find search for the sequence 
द फर्स्ट इज कोट सेकेंड इज होल थर्ड इज कॉटेलिडेंस एंड फोर्थ इज एम्ब्रिओ सो वेर इज द ऑप्शन करेक्ट आंसर चिल्ड्रेन दैट इज डी कोट होल कॉटेलिडेंस एंड एम्ब्रिओ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज How are fins helpful to a fish? The options are fins help the fish to breathe. Next is fins help the fish to eat. Next is fins help the fish to balance, change direction and stop. Last is fins help the fish to respond. Now out of all these options which one according to you is correct right that is c fins help the fish to balance change direction and stop so let us see the options that is a and b a and c a and d and d c only so what is the correct answer children the correct answer is d c only in this way you have to solve the questions very carefully if this kind of questions are there in the exam then you have to find out which option is give, you find correct then you have to accordingly click on the correct option so we are going to end this session here sairam